Williams, nice to see you, Montel. Good to um, see you, Greta. Thank you for Secretary making America aware. <laughs> well, it's actually, I've, I've got you on to do that. Um, you know, um, the Secretary Kerry said we have a very specific process in place to deal with this. Do you have any idea what that means? He's talking about the Christian pastor. You're talking about the Marine. Uh, I mean, what does that mean, the specific process? We have no idea. It's the same thing as I mean, the president said in his speech. This deal meets all our key objectives. Would not getting an American soldier back out of the grips of a terrorist country that is torturing him be one of our objectives along with the others so I don't really understand what that meant and and look I, I am again it's it's really pompous of me to think that the State Department needs to call Montel Williams and tell him what it's doing and I'm sure that that's what they're saying right now listening to me talking to you but what they knew, do need to do is don't call me tell the American public what you're doing because what the American public needs to understand is since you and I started talking about this Greta there have been 18 million impressions of people in America looking at the story. That means America wants to know how dare we make a deal and even Wait. contemplate signing one in a month without bringing our citizens home. I, I don't get well, it. Well, this Marine has been held 1,312 days, and I, I don't think I got into it until 1,310. Shame on me. You've been in this much longer. But, but 1,312 days, and the American people don't, are, you know, are not focusing on, or the American media, not focusing on the fact that a U.S. Marine is being held, uh, former, or he's, he's out, not, act, not active duty, but in a prison there, is, to me, is stunning. Now, maybe, I understand the problems of trying to hook getting Americans released with this nuclear program, but at least give us a hint that you're paying attention to this. Look, how about do us a favor and give relief to the families? Do you know that the families weren't called before this information was passed? So when they heard the president say all of our objectives were met, they may have thought for a second that we were releasing our prisoners, but that didn't happen. Secretary Kerry just made his statement a little while ago, and still to the day, Amir's father is dying. The president has gone to see the pastor no one's gone to talk to this dying man. Amir, right now, all he wants, listen to me, this is something we want to, again, hashtag free Amir now, but we want to let the Iranian government know, look, grant Amir yeah. his basic request to go see his grandmother, who's also ill right now. Take him with a guard, let him do that. And then, let's make sure that America understands that this man doesn't even have access to a, a, a counselor. He hasn't seen a counselor, he has no Red Cross access, please, Give this soldier just the dignity of life. His we can give it to these guys down in Gitmo. He, his, his family released a statement. They said he was first sentenced to death. The trial took place behind closed doors without this Marine's knowledge. No legal counsel to present a defense. And, of course, we have no representation in, in, in Iran. I mean, this and his father is dying of brain cancer. I mean, at least someone could, is no one even calling his father and, and having a conversation saying, well, at least we're trying to get your son back? No one has called his father. Listen to me. Maybe a one a underling at the State Department. This is something that Secretary Kerry should do. He's Pick a Marine. The, the reason why you are able to fly over and negotiate is because of the lives that our boys put on, on the battlefield and give us the right to do this. So I, I don't want to hear it anymore. Please, this is just a simple request. First off, I want everybody, again, hashtag free Amir now. And then any comment you can make to say, Iran, let him have at least a Geneva Convention right to the Red Cross. Are, are we crazy? Please. And, of course, also there's Pastor Abedini, yes. who, uh, who is a Christian, and he's being held because he's a Christian. And Bob Levinson, former FBI agent, I've been talking to his wife for eight years, and uh, no information about him, Bob Levinson, being held uh, in Iran. And, uh, look, I, I don't think it's easy to get these people back, but I do think it's easy to pick up the phone and have conversations with them right. from Thanks. the State Department or even from the President of the United States and say, look, uh, we're trying. And after you try, we should be putting more pressure on it. I don't care about these negotiations. The pressure right now should be the Geneva Convention allows the Red Cross to come in and check a prisoner of war. He right now is being held as a prisoner of war because of what he did in Iraq. I say, let's make sure Iran holds up to at least the Geneva Convention. And that will make, it's not going to, what is it going to prove? It's not going to prove anything. What it's going to do is give our country the dignity to know that we don't leave a soldier behind. Period.